Hey everyone, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and as you read the title, today I'm going to tell you about 10 locations where you can find GeoShop, GeoShop Hatchling, those guys that drops fragile bones, bony shards and etc. Uh, without any delay, let's start. So for the first place, you're gonna visit here, you know, in the bottom left part of the Qing village. Teleport here and I'm gonna tell you the location, it's just in front of that menu here. The location of first Geovishop hatchling is around here. Around would be wrong. It's exactly this location. I'm going to show you as a proof that he is there. These guys are actually very hard to fight. And so I thought rather than fighting to each and every Geovishop at each location, there he is. He's only singer. <laughs> Let's check if there is any other Jewish app at that location. As far as I know, he's alone right here. Yes. So you're gonna find one Jewish app at this location. Uh, we're not gonna fight him because defeating him takes a very long time. And okay. <laughs> will tell you there are more than about 15 geo shops and pretty more geo shops that we are gonna see so i would rather stay away from fighting so this is the first location for the second location you're gonna teleport yourself to this clean pool and mountain cave just teleport there and as you reach the location you can see right in front of you that orange tree here. the one from like Kung Fu Panda speech tree on which the Uwe said the great Uwe so you're gonna just go to that place and as you reach that place okay okay as you reach the place there they are you can see them two geo shop hatchling and one primary geo shop so that guy and the hatchlings drop the same oh yes sir. they drop the same amount of loot there is no difference except that the primary geo shop actually is very powerful as it can actually discharge like attack which actually have some nature like electric and water even fire so defeating him is not big task it's actually easier to defeat Primo Jewelry Shop rather than the hatchlings because he actually stays on surface most of the time okay so that's second location for the third location you're gonna teleport yourself on the top of Mount Azan just go and teleport here after teleportation just without seeing jump right there like this and just go down keep going down and there it is a secret cave right below the mountain as you can see there is Jewish up right there and as you start fighting them another Jewish up hatchling is going to appear right here where I'm going to run yes there he is so this is another location where you can find the Jewish app and Geovishap, Primo. It's actually a good location with lots of crystals to mine. You can see magical crystals and lapis and more. So if you want, it's another, you know what to say, mine of crystals. Okay, so for the fourth location, you're gonna teleport on the Mount Hula. Teleport at this point and I'm gonna show you on the map what is this location so another geo shop can be found here in the Huang forest there is no teleportation device near it so you're just gonna go and teleport there and then just 
jump from it like this so keep gliding in this direction and you can see actually you can't see you see that house near that house is where you're gonna find your forge yoga shop hatchling okay let's go down oh actually, they are very rare now because at this level for achievement I need you lots of chest okay so you can see there he is there he is standing our guy right on the location that's the location of the forge yoga shop okay, let's get out of here ASAP for the fifth location you're actually gonna teleport yourself here I don't know because the mountain don't have any name uh, let's say it's the mountain near the near this Primogio shop okay and then you wanna just travel towards that boss mini boss oh he just fell did you just see that uh, just keep your eye on the right side because most probably that's the location where they usually spawn so keep going in this direction like this okay and uh, they should be on that cliff there he is our um, prime geo shop uh, with his hatchling this is the fifth location where you can find your shop I guess for the last two locations wherever we have gone we have actually seen this guy prime your shop okay 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 it's, it's bad to take fight we need to get out okay so for the sixth location you're gonna teleport yourself in the Tiang Valley so the good news is in Tiang Valley there are three points where you can find Yoga Shops. Like first point is like just see behind you there are these two Geo Shop hatchlings. Like just to teleport here and there they are. And now there are two of them. For the next location on the map you can see you just need to go up in the mountain and to like around this point on the center just go to the south and climb this mountain from here just go from the side or you will you're gonna summon those fire flowers and they're gonna just follow you okay okay that's not fire flower <laughs> i'm happy okay just keep on going there and as you reach you're gonna see the geo shop hatchlings and it is the most rich place because it has got three geo shop hatchlings here like one two and three must be around here rolling you're gonna get yeah, there are the one two and three okay there are there yes there are, you can see there are three of them and this is the only place where you can find three of them together for the next location you're just gonna go and teleport here on the left of the mountain this teleportation device this is actually the seventh eighth position where you can find your shop you can just just go backwards and jump and you can see them right here here he is just behind the teleportation device here is another geo shop hatchling and when last time I visited, there was actually a prime yoga shop too. Oh, he is there, he is there. So, this is the fourth lo location where you can find yoga shop, hatchlings, and prime yoga shop together. And maybe the last one where you can find them together. So, this is the eighth location where you can find the yoga shop hatchling. Now, for the ninth location, you're actually gonna go out of here to these guang forest guang stone forest you're gonna teleport yourself to this domain of guang and the location of jiva shop is on this island so to reach there it is the most nearest way i would say 
So I'm going to learn and tell how you can reach at that point easily. So what you want to do is just walk out of this path and then start climbing the mountain. So, so. Climb the mountain from here. Just keep on going and and now climb on this portion from here you don't need to go on to top from here just jump here and you can easily land on that island it's also easier you can take the land route but it's it's long and it's not that fun because you get out of stamina very easily as you can see that guy is rolling around on the island alone and uh, this is the ninth location where you can, where you can find jewelry shop if you're having like if you're lacking two or three bony shards or something the loot depends upon your level like at my level like i'm on level 53 and my world level is seven so it drops around seven or five of fragile bones and two or three of sturdy bones and sometimes very rarely it drops the rarest one i don't remember its name but yeah it drops sometimes now for the last location and the 10th location you're actually gonna come here it's beside that new update mountain you're gonna teleport yourself to the teleportation waypoint just below the Antum city outskirt right here and at this location you can find two geovisha hatchlings rolling around uh, it seems like they actually have foil with each other because they roll like on the either ends of that area so as you're gonna come here one guy is here and just keep going to the north and another one is there I don't know if you saw that but I'm gonna show you from here uh, this so these two are here one and two this is also a good location you can leave the single geo shop locations like leave them for the pinch type and as for the bonus location I'm also gonna tell you one more place where you can find geo shop like if you're what to say if you really 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 need that bony shard fragile bony shards so what you can do is you can teleport like right here the location of that is here you for you to reach there you can teleport in the mountain in front of Tainheng mountain and just take a glide downwards and you can find that alone guy again he's gonna be just around the corner as you go down you can easily see them right there with some of his charts you can keep him for the reserve no need to fight because it actually is very pain and ass to deal with his charts with arrows and you wish up together so keep it as a reserve if you ever need like really really need then no you can take this fight or just go and fight those with the prime it's gonna be much more easier than this and so that's it for today's video uh, if you like the video please smash that like button and slap 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 the subscribe button uh, for more further updates of Genshin Impact next I'm gonna be doing the video for Ruin Gods and I have got quite a lot of location on them and also uh, I don't know if I told you in the assassins video that I uploaded last time you can see it's popping out right there uh, I have actually ma ascended four of my characters to like sixth phase 
Okay, here it is. Yes. Now I can re make them to level 90. Like he's one Shao, Ning Wang, Julik, Dilwik, and Xinlong. Also, the traveler is level 985, of course, because materials for him were the first to get, so it was much more easier. Okay, so let's not extend the video and please subscribe. See you all in the next. Uh,